All Sanchi material is copyrighted March 2000 to 2005 by Christian Weston Chandler. All names or persons illustrated in any of the Sanchi comics except that of Christian Weston Chandler that may seem similar to anyone in real life are purely coincidental and otherwise per heretic. Our story begins in an open field five miles from the city station, which is under siege by the perfect chaos monster. While Sonic the Hedgehog ponders over the destruction, a wild boy Pikachu takes notice of the far off destruction. Okay, except that the destruction just looks like a sun with a bunch of buildings. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, let's continue. I am Christian Weston Chandler, Sonic 2 creator and author of this comic. This is his story and nothing less. Okay, is it Sonic Chu's story or your story, Chris? Because from what I hear, it starts as Sonic Chu and becomes yours. Meanwhile, when what I think may be the city, Sonic fights the Loch Ness Monster as he seeks out, uh, looks like 350. And, uh, Sonic's summoning the Chaos Emeralds and charging the Loch Ness Monster like a fucking dumbass. Oh, fucking boy. Oh, boy. Wish there was dialogue, but whatever. And now we have Pikachu also running up to the Loch Ness Monster. Folks, I cut this in two because I had to zoom in on that first part, but god damn. This is horrible. At least, Chris, would you at least put in a bang or a crack or something like, you know, they usually do in regular comics to indicate somebody's getting hit with a powerful hit? God Loch Ness Monster appears to be charging up in front of Pikachu as Sonichu is is he's just running into fucking Pikachu crash they hit and a gay ass motherfucking rainbow appears and we have a girl Raichu and the rainbow comes down and hits the girl Raichu for no fucking reason what the fuck is this this is making no fucking sense where's the dialogue please I guess the Pikachu and the Raichu are fusing, but wait a minute, is that is that Amy Rose? Where the fuck was Amy Rose? You didn't see her, at least you saw the fucking Raichu, like what the fuck? So I guess that uh the trainer of this Raichu comes out to see that her Raichu is not a Raichu anymore, but Amy Rose Raichu. I am not making this up. And Amy, Amy Rose fused with a Raichu, and now it's called fucking Rose Chew. What the fuck? Okay, at least Sonic and Pikachu showed up in the first few pages, but where the fuck did Amy come from, seriously? Like, what the fuck? You just threw her in there, Chris, just to throw her in there for a love interest. Here we have our hero, Sonic Chew, as he wakes up. And realizes that the fight is on and it's time to zap! So he runs across what looks like the American flag and into the Loch Ness Monster once again like a dumbass. Like a Zapdos out of the sky, THUNDER! Oh, what, what the fuck? There's like two of them. Almost got him! Sonichu screams as the monster roars a mighty, mighty roar, now looking like Godzilla, even though he originally looked like fucking the Loch Ness Monster. Chris, consistency. You don't have it. Maybe you should get it if you ever decide to come back to this. Sonichu's then become a ball of energy and, I guess, kill the creature. And Wow, what a battle. Not only that, but I've received super speed, a new body, and above all else, I am able to talk like a human. And apparently, I look like that hedgehog I I helped earlier. From the cheers, I guess his name was Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic had just about the same abilities as I do now. And I guess I am now a hedgehog. Now too. I am a new Pokemon. I am no longer a Pikachu. So with inspiration, I am now, and from then on, Sonic Chu went on to make new friends as well as enemies, and he will use his abilities to stop evil and save the world. Stay tuned for more zapping adventures of Sonic Chu. So as you can tell, this is already a daunting task. 
Sonic Chu, issue one, part one of two. Uh, six pages we just went through. I guess if I have to give it a score on what I'm going to call the worst chart, I guess I'll give it a score of, uh, I'll give it an 8. 8 being, 10 being not bad, 1 being horrible. So, yeah, gets an 8. 8 out of 10. Next episode's coming soon.